All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Gear One Nelly. How are all my adventures doing? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. And it is time. The time, the moment you've all been waiting for. Information on, I guess, the more populated servers. Or at least that has a few people playing. Um, I decided to kind of put some servers that are, you know, either empty or... You've only like seen one or two players on there on the more honorable mention list, but um, the more active to medium servers that I've seen, I'm gonna be actually like giving you guys info on those. So, without further ado, these are all the ones that I've been through and have seen. There are gonna probably be some that I probably haven't seen, which will probably be more difficult to find. If there is still, you know, those other servers, I've looked the best of I, the best that I could for those other servers. So we're going to see how that goes. But with that said, I'm not going to be negative or try and not to be negative on any of these servers because I've only had like some really good experiences on the servers. Uh, the most of this is going to be telling you guys about the servers instead of like you know this is the best server that's the best server because everybody's going to have their own different preference of each server that they uh actually like see and obviously you know another server is not going to be exactly for you so keep that in mind that there's these servers just exist for certain players who enjoy that certain like you know quality of life that a certain server brings you know or quality of life that a different server brings, or, you know, maybe fast leveling, fa leveling as fast as you can, or still grinding from, like, the beginning, you know? Something that's still more hardcore, stuff like that. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get on into it. So, as you can see, the first thing, the first server we're going to actually start up on is Memories. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is server settings. So, server settings is basically XP rate, drop rate, gold rate, fame rate, stuff like that. So, this is the information that I've gotten. Some of the information may not be correct for one server, and I'll let that be known. If I actually know it or not, I had asked them. They haven't gotten back to me. But if I do get any information that uh, I'll share it in the comments. If there's any... GMs, devs, CMs, whatever you call yourself, staff members of these servers. If I get anything wrong, please do address it. If you guys want to add in more information on your servers or plans that you have on your servers, do leave that in the comment too. You know, people will be looking at this video and you guys can, you know, put in your extra two cents. If I get anything wrong, like I said, call me out on it and correct me. So, first things first, their service settings is times 5 XP, item drop, go drop, and times 2 fame PvP. So, that's pretty much all the service settings that I have information on. I'm not sure about sprites or quest settings, well, quest rates, anything like that. So, I wouldn't even know what to tell you on that one. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is leveling and grinding. Leveling was was actually pretty fun all the way up until level 80. Then level 80 is where XP started to die down quite a bit. And it started to take a little bit longer. Uh, I remember I had somebody else who actually found the server as I was playing. Memories is that they were saying it's difficult to get to... To also get to um, level 90, which level 90 is their is their cap currently. And, oh, I'm kind of getting out of order. I was supposed to talk about that later. But, like I said, grinding, I would normally give it a C past that point. You know, it's not bad. But it will take you some time, considering that you only have 10 levels left from that point. So... It's basically like you have to lock in and actually motivate yourself to get to that point. 
All right, the next thing we, I'm going to talk about is the fun level. The fun level of it is actually pretty high, especially if you're if you're more of a group player, because that is what memory strives on. It strives on playing as a team, you know, it is trying to go back to those difficulty routes when it comes to dungeons instead of like, you know, soloing, soloing it like I did, because <laughs> most of my videos you you guys saw of that playthrough was me soloing through all of uh, the dungeons, but not through all the dungeons because I slowly got stopped by BFR, Black Flame Room. That that's the that's the dungeon that actually stopped me. Okay, we're not gonna dwell on like that too much because that's my own personal preference of like how fun it is. Well, fun level, I gave it an A because it was actually like very fun. All right, uh, the next ranking is free to play, which is pretty fairly simple. Like all the items that you need are available to you. You don't really have to work extra hard for the goat for all of these items. And they're at a pretty decent price. There's NPCs that will give you your fame consumables. NPCs that will give you like new items such as blueprints to create a brand new emblem. There's even a stone that will heal you. There's a healing box that will also heal you. There's a sprite box where you can get all your sprites at every level of it. Sprites are definitely the thing you're going to have to grind for a lot of. And not only that, when you start, every time you do a class change, you get... Every time you do a class change, you actually get a little ticket to where you can come in here and get your level... To where you can get your level 50 through 70 weapons. Which is actually like very nice for starting out. And getting you up to like that level 70 threshold to where you actually have to pay attention to start farming. Now they do have unique gear sets as well for crafting. And a lot of their stuff is inspired off of League of Legends. You will see it from a lot of their icons. They even have actual items that are from League of Legends that you can actually like, like pick up and use through like a M table. I will say this, the scale is involved inside of a lot of this, but everything that is from the scale you can actually get from the end table when it rotates in. But these are a very low rate to get, so do keep that in mind. An extremely low rate of actually getting it because they have things, new things that they've created over time, like exclusive dungeon mounts. Then they have transformations that you can actually use. Then they also have, you know, like I said, the League of Legends little items that you can actually like use and they go on cooldown. It's kind of also like a uh, wow. Wow has like trinkets that you can have to where you can use and they go on cooldown for a while, you know, things like that. Then you have the next ranking, which is Welling. Welling is not really a priority for them. They are prized on difficulty. That is what they're normally promoting is difficulty so that is one reason why plus nine is the highest cap for all the gears and everything so difficulty is going to come into play left and right so that's something to keep in mind and i'm not going to go too much into welling because like i said it's not really existed they have a bonus shot but it's mostly for any any of the points you spend as AP goes into the bonus. Let you guys see pretty much everything that's here. Not really much of anything that is welling at all that is in here. The only thing that would be in here that you would want to get is clay. These pills to make everything, you know, go slightly faster. Training doesn't give enough to where it instantly gets finished. Training, you're still going to have to wait a few minutes inside of the higher level uh, trainings for your sprites. Now, I don't know 
if you have well actually i was gonna say i don't know if you have free access to magic clay there has been some times where magic clay shows up inside of the normal inside of the normal uh alchemy table uh the other way to get clay is because well it's clay is everywhere at this point it is thanks to their skill it's really easy to get clay and they're very 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 cheap like extremely cheap clay is very easy to get into the server because the economy is low all right next is class skills class skills are all original none of them are reworked and there are currently from what i know no new skills but there are slightly changed to rebalanced and not only that some of them are modified skin wise um i don't i'm not at level 90 level 90 is when the skin actually changes uh level 90 every class gets a different rework or rebalance and retouch of their skills so for an example i guess i can actually show my druid here Where is it? Um, the best example I can definitely say would be. There we go. Would be Spring of Mana. Spring of Mana still does its normal thing all the way up until level. All the way up until level 84. Then you get 10% attack speed and casting speed. And you get 10% hammer damage. Anything past this is to be ignored because the cap is level 90. At the moment. We don't know if they're going to change that in the future. But at the moment, it is still the same. Alright, next are talents. And all talents are original. There is nothing, nothing new or changed about the talents. All of them are still the same. But you do get reincarnation talents over here, even though, you know, reincarnation is not in the server. Uh, mastery. I'm going to have to reorganize a lot of this as I go, because um, I'm talking about it early. <laughs> but uh, mastery. All masteries are not the same, but most of them are original. Some of them have been changed and replaced. Like, this used to be plant, now it's resist. Well, no, this used to be more damage against plant enemies, but now it has been changed to mana regen. You know, there's there's a few new ones. So they're really touching on a lot of the masteries at the moment, from what we can actually see. So there's a few gears that have actually been touched on and reworked and changed. This has had its stun lowered. I don't know if it's actually going to pop up and show, but it's had its stun lowered, stun chance lowered. And not only that, there's a, another hammer that has also gone through a rebalance as well. Then there are more hammers that got rebalanced, like Illusion, Illusion Hammer, and maybe more. Uh, that's all I know because I've only played Druid, but there's been a lot of new gear added too, because there's a League of Legends like stuff that, well, the items with the League of Legends icons that you can actually go in and build a whole new set with. Let's go down here to other. Yeah, you have all of these blueprints that you can actually like make finished products with. And I believe this is mostly from Beast Tower. A lot of these materials that you need is from Beast Tower. Next is, well, the gear cap. The gear cap is plus, plus nine, like I said. There is no reincarnation, and the max level is level 90. Like I said, I'm going to have to change the order of all this. Next is, can you enter dungeons without a key? I have not a single key inside of here, and I can enter Greed's room. So no, you do not need a key at all. You can just go in and fight Greed itself. 
And this is pretty much for all dungeons. The next one is, is there combining mounts or thrones for stars and extra stats? No, there isn't. That was one of the pay to win things that were actually removed from here. And they don't exist. Like I said, difficulty is what they're aiming for. And bringing back like dungeons to their prime. So they're actually like increase some of the dungeon monsters as well. So that's also another thing to keep in mind. Uh, the Nucleus. Nucleus no longer gives stats. They only give movement speed inside of the server. So a big little example here would be me going down to here and showing this Nucleus. And now it says at the bottom that it gives plus 4% will. But it doesn't actually give that willpower. As you can see, the white text up there only says it gives plus 6% movement speed. And that is it. So Nucleus themselves don't actually like give anything. It's just movement speed. Next, there is no yellow runestones. There are no yellow runestones at all. They do not exist on the server as well. That's also another thing that has been taken out. Now, there is some that go into purple gear, obviously. Most of it that you're going to see is, is crit rate runes. For some reason, a lot of the other like materials and tickets are popping up inside of here. I don't know why. Because you would think it would be in others as well. But yeah, there's where you find more crafting equipment. <laughs> The economy also is next. The auction economy is low gold. It is not like very heavy, except for the newer gear. It is uh very high. Well, not very high, but it's pretty high up there. Then you have tomes. Tomes you can actually like sell. They actually took off the restrictions of that, which was great. It was very annoying to have then go farm your tome. Okay, so the next thing on auction we're going to talk about is that the auction house item expiring date has been increased. So if I was to put this in, I can increase it by seven days. And as you can see, this is the next thing we're going to talk about is that the fee is not is not hungry for your gold. So if I was to put it in for there, it started increasing. It is not extremely hungry like it usually is. Because this this would actually blow out your cash. Like if I was to actually put it in this, th this would probably be like an extra two in front of that. If I just put it for a thousand gold, there's only two gold added. Now, if you guys know, a thousand gold would actually like take a lot more. Now, Grandfather Memories does have a actual website, which is actually fantastic. Now they have news to where you can actually see what's the newest update and everything, and they also have it like fully translated for you if you guys actually want to read through them. They also have the downloads that you can actually get without having to join a Discord. They have they have their shop to where you can actually get their points and it actually goes directly to your account. You don't have to do like the international converting or anything like that, which was also a nuisance for other servers. But, you know, it's actually pretty great that they figured out a way for it to interact with the site and actually like send you straight those points without having to go into Discord and put a ticket in and having, you know, the trust of them sending it to you or having the wait time as well. Then you have rewards, which is their scale. As soon as you buy the currency, it increases the scale. You don't have to spend it. As soon as you buy it, it goes up. Now, you have three scales. By buying 30k, you get all the way up to tier 5 on all of the scales. So you get all these rewards from, from all the way up here. And if you guys are wanting their prices. There you go. They have their Discord. Then they also have their profiles, which is just, just 
changing your stuff if you guys don't like what your password is or if something happened, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Next is the population. The population is actually pretty pretty healthy and they actually grown for the last time that I've actually like played the server. Oh, here's one of the actually reformed skins. Well, uh modified skins. For the dog form. <laughs> well, wolf form. It actually looks a lot different from the last one I saw, I believe. I think the last one I saw was like black and red. But yeah, as you can see, there's a ton of players. Most most of them do stay in Kaslo. They don't actually like travel other places most of the time. Most of them are just chilling or PvPing. This is like their little PvP area. Or where they watch people PvP. They have dummies for each level as well that you can test out your stuff on. As for... As for the skills... They do cost. They are not free like other servers are. They, they still cost the same as usual. Just for Druid, you're seeing a lot more prices that are high. Welcome, welcome to Druid Life. Our, our prices for our skills get insane because we have to buy more skills than you guys. All right, the next thing is language support. They support both English, Polish, Spanish, and French. With the highest language in the game being Spanish. Uh, their staff is actually like very active and keeps interacting with a lot of players they also do quite a lot of events that are open for anybody to join um and now we're just finishing off with the server uh with just a little bit two things i decided to add uh one is my personal experience and unique about the server which i've already talked about they have they take suggestions very seriously which is great i do love that you guys know when they first released like the summons and everything they didn't have like stats they were just there as pets i added feedback to where it it could possibly be more fun if they actually like had abilities you know and did like some cool stuff and fall with you and they actually like took that into consideration and now we have now we have summons that actually fight with you and actually do combat uh, initially, they did have the whole stat stat things, so I think they were going to have the pets to where they could uh, just be beside you, take aggro and fight with you. But they were doing like one damage, which was kind of like the normal crystals that you can get for the sins of the game. Where are they? Yeah, these. Kind of like these normal magic stones. These normal magic stones haven't been changed. They are still the same. They are still the one damage and get one shot. <laughs> but these don't get one shot. They actually can actually fight with you and deal a little bit of damage. They deal a lot of damage from early game. But once I believe Hal set up to like 70 to 80 levels, they no longer, you know, are you extremely beneficial to where they're doing a lot of damage but they are there to keep up your abilities a lot more which is great but if i was to say anything it seems like the server is more aimed to being hardcore i've told players this it seems like a more hardcore play style than most of the other servers and i would say treat it like world of warcraft to where Everything is not going to be easy to where you're going to need start to need a team. Or you're going to start to need to wanting a team towards a certain point. So cooperating with each other is the best way to get those goals done. Now, my personal feels of the server, I enjoyed myself a lot. They made some unique and fun ideas, even took most suggestions seriously. Like I said, uh, they set themselves apart from a lot of the other servers and aren't afraid to try new things, which is also great to see. And I'm happy that they're doing this because from the last time I like first played, 
you know, they were a little bit in the early stages, and now that I come back, it's like, oh, shit, there's a lot more stuff. Not only that, they actually, like, changed this to where you can actually redeem your GM Surprise for, like, different other gears. Past, like, level 80, 90, stuff like that. So GM Surprise is no longer just... If I remember correctly, GM Surprise was sending in a ticket into the server and having them uh, give us the stuff. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't change, but they didn't make another, like, NBC that gives you an option of all the talents. So they can just take a little bit off their back when it comes to, like, having to keep coming to the players and doing this and choosing three talents. Or at least giving a box. When you trade this in, that gives three talents. Sort of like this. Suggestions, because I'm pretty sure how we'll probably look at this. Um, make an NPC. Give it a box of the rankings. And probably set it apart from classes. So that would probably be like... Let's say... How would we set this up? Let's say there would be Druid Box Ones. Druid Box Talent Ones. And there would only be nothing but one talents. So I would get out of that Channel Magic One. Then there would be Druid Box Two. And I would be able to get, you know, Staff Shielding 2. But when you look at this, you know, this one would be Druids. Then this one would be, you know, Shinobi, stuff like that. And it will still go down the list. Then you could just click on it. Then it will have these to where it says uh, Druid Box 1. And you'll get those Talents 1s. Then you have the selector that you can open up and select what three you want. That would actually make it easier on you guys as well, you know, to separate that so it's less work for you to do. The costume thing, on the other hand, uh, that's something you probably got to still do because the skill points are aligned with that as well. So, <laughs> at least that takes off uh, talents for you, at least. But, um, yeah, I enjoyed myself in memories, and I definitely did feel like I created a few memories with this game. I say, then you have the two developers over here just chilling. Wait, is that what I think it is? Is that? Yeah, that's Crystal Puppet. They changed Crystal Puppet <laughs> to this. I feel like that's a Aurora Kingdom character as well. They do do a lot of Aurora Kingdom stuff. Especially the summons that you guys see. That is also from Aurora Kingdom, I believe. It's either from Aurora Kingdom or... What is it... Either from Reward Kingdom or Twin Saga. So yeah, that is that is pretty much it for memories. If you guys are very interested in memories, do check it out if it is your playstyle or it if it does interest you. There are a lot of players here who are willing to help you out and get past dungeons that you're stuck on. Just ask. And they'll help out. It's a very unique server and it is definitely one of my top favorites. With that said, let's go ahead and move on to the next server. All right, so now we are on Violet. And for Violet, uh, their server settings are the same as Memories, where it is times five for XP, times five for item and go drop. And not only that, they reduce 70% of the required XP that you need to level. And not only that, they did the same thing for Spry Island and decreased the amount of XP you need for that as well. So, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So, for farming for Violet, I give it a B because it actually does go by a lot faster. 
especially if, since they lowered all the required XP, which I barely see most servers doing. I just see them increasing the XP gain. They don't seem to be reducing the XP required, but that is actually great to hear, though, that there's a server that's thinking about uh, required XP instead of just, you know, increasing you know, the gain XP. For fun, I would say it is pretty fun. It does just feels like normal Grand Fantasia with a lot more quality of life that actually work out a lot. Because they got some sick quality of lives. I, I will say that. They have their own little in-game wiki that you can search up any item that you actually need. And they even tell you the location of the item that you can farm it at as well. They even give you the whole recipes of everything you actually need for that item as well. Which is also fantastic. Some items don't really tell you where you can actually get them. Other than this. You can even look up your talents as well and see where they drop. Now, it won't tell you how to get the talent, but it will give you the blueprint. You know, if you're looking up like the actual talent itself, but if you want to look up crystal. E. Then scroll down to go to the blueprint. Then it'll tell you all the monsters that actually drop it. If you can get it through hunting, if you can get it through a dungeon, what boxes it comes out of, and where you can farm it. Which was actually like extremely unique, and I was just sitting here like, okay, that's that's actually a really dope system that they actually like went in through. I I, I kind of wish. The official server would have done something like this, but, you know, it's good to see that another server thought of it and did something unique. You could even... Oh, I was taught this during the... During one of my live streams, that you can even... Could, I think it's alt. Whoops. That you can all add it into your... Archive. So now it's right there. Oh no, it's alt right click. No, control right click. <laughs> there you go. Control right click and you can just automatically add it to your archive. I mean, unlike uh, some other servers to where you have commands, you have just the right click that you could just control and just start right clicking it all in. Well, left clicking, I think, but you have to have it up as for free to play. I since it's very similar to the first server, I'm going to tell you this. It's it's a, actually I would say 70 percent better free to play than the official server. I wouldn't say like it's a full on a lot better than the official server, but I will say this, the balancing and everything that they're doing is kind of helping it, but it's still one of those things where you actually have to, you know, work for everything, which is fine. Especially since you can earn magic clay just by just by grinding dungeons and finishing uh, mi mission orders. Those mission orders gives you these PVP coins which these PvP coins can be used at an NPC that will give you that will exchange you a bag and that bag has a chance of giving you magic clay. Now Welling, just as much as good old uh, official server, there is still a little bit of Welling involved. Not a whole bunch. There's really not a whole bunch, but it still comes back to thrones and mounts. That, that still comes into play quite a bit. Not a whole sh shit ton, but it still does come into play. Now, Nucleus is still a thing as well. 
along with uh, the tablet. The tablet. That is still the thing as well. All right, let's go to the next thing. The next thing is gear and new gear changes. From what I've seen, they've changed quite a bit of PvP gear, but I don't think they've modified too much of like the normal gear in game. Well, the normal like yellow gear from what I know. I don't think they've like rebalanced much of that. But if I'm wrong, like I said, do let me know and tell me. You know, even give me like a patch note of when they did it. That that would actually help too. Oh, not only that, the archive also has a search as well. So I can just Oh yeah, I had to be on that. There it is. If you're searching for a certain thing, you just look it up like that. Especially if you're like looking through like all the co many costumes that you have. That is actually pretty dope. Something I love to see. Next, gear capping is gear cap is at plus twenty, and reincarnation is reincarnation one. They do not have reincarnation two. I have not seen a single person at reincarnation two, so I think it's just reincarnation one. All right, as for skills, all skills can be bought at zero, by the way. I just want that to be known. And you can buy every last one of your skills for free. Which is another quality of life I actually do love about Violet. Uh, so all the skills are original. They are not reworked. As for talents, not all of the talents have been changed, but a good majority of them have been changed. Like this, you no longer need a staff. And these have also been changed as well. Gorilla is now HP. The wolf is now physical damage. And this is now magical damage. This is no longer... What was it? I can't remember what this was now. I'm pretty sure it was like... Was that... Was that the... Strength? Fire one? Not only that, there's one particular like talent I'm happy to see and that is Gorilla Guard increase so with Gorilla Guard you actually get once it's like rank three you actually get a whole nother minute added to Gorilla Guard and I was sitting here like okay that's actually freaking amazing and I'm looking forward to that along with a few other changes that are actually like extremely great to dip our hands into as well masteries masteries have also been changed or some masteries have been changed some of them have been uh rebalanced like for this this has been increased to two percent this does help out uh with tanking and reflection damage so the two percent is actually very great and i love it there's a few other changes that i love too like both hp and mana are on one single or one singular mastery so i don't ha so it doesn't take up like you know two masteries of something that could be like completely different i do love that Not only that both defense and phys both physical and magic defense are on one as well so it can have another placement for something new as well and there you go that that's just a few other talents that i actually enjoy seeing that are, you know, actually fleshed out. I like I like this mastery table. I I was to say out of all the other servers, I think I do love this mastery table a lot more than you know most others. Another quality of life thing that I love to see is the fact that I can enter mutated dungeons. Give me some sort of way to where I can enter the mutated version of dungeons. Whether it be like a floating crystal that memory does, or it being just going up here and activating like mutant instants. And it's just so fantastic, especially if you are a solo player. I do love servers that do promote solo playing as well, and just love to be able to talk with others while also soloing and stuff like that. I'd say that is mostly my playstyle.
And there you go. If you're going to ask uh, if you can enter dungeons without a key, you can. You don't need to go and have to grab that key. You can just go straight in and fight greed. So that's another server that does that. All right, onward to the next thing. Oh yeah, I almost forgot that Violet does have another quality of life that's actually pretty cool, and it's called Auto Equip. You can turn on Auto Equip, and you can only... All you need to do is select one piece of a full set, and it changes that whole set on. So as you can see, I have my Beast God set on, and I push my Legacy Gear, my Mystic Soul, and boom. It equips everything. That is... That is dope. I like this. Especially for quick changing if you need to fastly change. And you're in the middle of combat you need to swap out your gear. That's useful. I like that. Alright, so you can synchronize your mounts and your thrones on this server. Obviously, they kept in pretty much everything. You can still do that. Nucleus. Nucleus have been changed on the server to where they are level locked. And this is mostly for like a PvP thing. This is mostly what they're doing it for is PvP. Because they're like actually, actually very PvP heavy it seems. Because not only that, um, Archive also has some PvP related things. Minimum you can use this is in Arena 31, 41, 61, 71. So yeah, all of those, they are very dedicated towards like, it seems a more Arena side. But with a little bit of uh, PvE stuff. I do want to show you guys the NPC that does take your PvE coins after you're done with a mission order. Is this NPC right here going into a vest? Trade in six, six coins, and there you go. I can even show you one of the missions as well. Do your mission orders, get it. You also get a little bit of gold, and you also get, you know, some slight fortitude items that'll help you out, as well with some um, obsidian jars, some blueprints for your uh, talents, and some runestone bags, which is also great as well as i said before a violence and cot economy towards auction house is heavily inflated just like the official server so you guys are about to see that now quite a bit heavily inflated it it it's mostly because of mountain thrones as well and plus not only that the Cap of everything has been increased. I'm pretty sure they're the same as this official server right now to where it is 999k as a max gold. Just all six nines, bro. So yeah. Quite inflated. But um, I think in higher level dungeons, you will get enough gold that will keep you up. I say it's just getting to those higher level dungeons. And especially, you just have to be very, very patient when it comes to, like, your, uh, crafting. <laughs> Unless people were selling pills, that would be another story. Okay, no, nobody's selling pills. Uh, you're kind of shit out of luck there, but you know, hey. And then we got more inflation over here. Economy is not... Well, I say the economy is pretty normal if you are used to uh, the official server. If you're used to official server, this is nothing new to you, and it's just the same old Grand Fantasia. But people are actually making holy gear. That's the only difference. And Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Anywho. Um, so another thing. Which is nice. Is. Which gear is normal gear. 
This one actually goes all the way up to seven as well, seven days. But inside of Violet, it doesn't cost you an extra selfie going up and down for your days. That That is fantastic. You don't have to deal with a sales fee. You can just deal with the whole pricing. Well, you don't have to deal with the daily fee, you know, adding on. You can only just, you know, increase it, deal with the sales fee, normal sales fee, and it's just done. And that saves you a whole bunch of gold, which I love. All right. As for their website, it actually looks pretty nice. You can actually see and look at a little bit of your classes and variants. Tells you a little bit about them. A little bit about their skills, if anything. You know, what they're capable of doing and stuff. Then you have their little community videos. They give you information on the server right here and exclusively of everything that they do different. I've already gone over this with their first episode video. So if you guys are interested in this, I'm going to leave it there. You guys can read it now. You guys can go ahead and pause it. And read that. And with that said, you can also come down here and look at their hotfixes. And it'll be all inside of your different languages that you actually need. I say you have the server rules down here as well. Then you have your profile, which has a lot more to it. It even tells you like what characters you have. It even gives you like how much you got. It gives you uh, your account information. It also gives you, uh, you know, for this, th this is where the annoying and interesting part comes in. Um, I believe if you are brazil you should be able to do this straight up and you have it sent to your account at least i feel like it hold on yeah okay so brazilian players will be able to get their stuff sent directly to your account but you are if you're international and nowhere in brazil you're gonna have to actually make a whole ticket and send it to uh the discord well you don't have to make a whole ticket in the Discord. It'll give you like a PayPal link. Then you would either screenshot that, or you would um forgot what you had, what else you had to do. I think it was provide your name of the account, well, the username of the account, I believe, and then they would just you know send it on from there. Uh, this is also where you find the skill as well. And they do have basically a GM wish as well for their final stage. Um, you would need exactly 25k VP just to max this out. So that is around at least $50. So it is a lot cheaper than memories, but at the same time, memory also gives you more value for that because they have three different three different uh scales going on now that they have promotional codes that they can do as well which is interesting i think this is mostly for like think partnerships and stuff like that it sounds interesting then this is just the rules again and you can actually download without having to go into the Discord. You can also register. So you can completely avoid the Discord as well. All right, next is the population. As you guys see, and most of you know, Violet is the biggest private server, like hands down. It is literally the biggest private server. It has the most players on it. And it, it possibly could be because of the bonus points of just staying online this this is all timed these are time bonus points as long as you're online you get extra points and that does help with the free to play side of it especially of like crafting your weapons because these are actually like very reasonable for saving i don't feel like the xp is 
<laughs> Very reasonable since it only lasts. Oh, they last for an hour. I think they changed that. Oh, yeah, they changed them. Okay, never mind. That's actually pretty reasonable. I didn't see that it that they had uh, modified it. All right, that's actually pretty reasonable for a whole hour. That's not too bad. But yeah, population. So now on for language support. The ma. Hold on a second. I gotta double check that actually, because I'm pretty sure that changed. So as of right now, the they seem to be supporting mostly, yeah, Spanish and French like icons, which makes me think it's like. Are they only supporting English and Brazil? Because they're only putting out patch notes for English and Brazil. Doesn't seem like they're doing uh, Spanish or anything else. But it prob probably could have changed. But even on their rules, it says English and Brazil. It's only translated in English and Brazil. Whoa. Whoa. Portuguese. But then again, some other things are also translated. Okay, so I think they probably still support it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong if they uh, have decided to change it because I know one server decided to only support English in a, in a different language. And those were those only two. I'm not sure if it was violent. So let me know which one of those it is. But um, as the time being, the most popular language on the server is obviously Portuguese. Brazil. Because it is mostly a Brazilian server. Um, so the staff is actually pretty active on their discord i say they they make a, a whole bunch of events and stuff like that which is actually pretty great to see especially oh yeah they they make like a whole bunch of events so makes people to be able to compete against each other for like rewards and stuff like that if i remember correctly i i believe i saw some like i don't think it was tournaments maybe like pvp competitions i don't know if it was like tournaments I guess we'll wrap it up uh, with my personal experience and my feels of the server. So my personal experience, it seems to be aiming towards a more balanced environment while also keeping the original parts of the game, but with more quality of lives, which is not an issue at all. It's actually just trying to keep the charm of Grand Fantasia while also giving players more free to play options and more quality of lives to help their lives to be a lot easier. So I, if I was to say this, if you don't like how empty the official server is, or if you have a problem with the official server being too pay to win, Violet would probably be the best experience on that if you want to, you know, keep that experience of Grand Fantasia. But at the same time, the official server, like I said, has its own charms, especially with either if you like the reworks of your class, then you would stay with the official server with the official server. But if you like the original skills, you would go with Violet. You know, because Violet is more of a classic version with quality of lives for the official server. Now, my experience, well, my experience is done. Um, my feels of server. I feel like this server is top tier in many areas, such as quality of life, rebalancing, and free to play. But it starts to suffer from gold farming for items, which, you know, is not a bad thing because at least you can actually, like, you know, you don't have to spend money. You can actually just farm for the actual stuff that you need because, you know, in a 
in official server is just like you have no real access to clay to magic clay other than welling this is a constant issue with fucking x legend i don't get what the fuck they they think this is but every time they release a new game it suffers from their fucking table system and they will not get rid of that table system in any way shape or form or make it better or make the pieces to it like so much easier to grasp and if they do release like a or like a normal table the normal table would be complete dog shit and wouldn't even give you the chance to go up to the magic clay table you know that that constant thing is what keeps ruining a lot of their games because then it keeps jumping into that whole table system to where a table is the only way to get good shit. And players, most of the time, are fucking sick of it. And they gotta stop that. So let's hope with them making the remastered version of Grand Fantasia, which what it looks like is just remastered, or what is going to probably be is remastered, but with a new system, it, what they're saying, they are, they're remaking it onto a new engine. I did think that Grand Fantasia engine did seem very, very limited. So that is an issue, especially with those, so many people like getting gaining more experience from other engines. So this this is a little bit of a topic that is for the original server that I should save but i kind of want to get it out now because adhd is going to kick in and i'm going to forget it <laughs> but here's the issue man so many people are learning like newer engines nobody's trying to learn the older engine that grand fantasia first started on and grand fantasia first started like around 2014 or so i think it's 2014 at least I, I'm old as shit now. It, it makes me feel old to even to even say that. Gravitation release date. Oh, it was released. In, oh no, I feel way older than I should have. Apparently, it was 2009. It was fucking 2009. I could have sworn it was 14. I fucking hate myself. All right. Great. That's one way to fucking depress me. Anywho, <laughs> as I was saying. But back to my uh, feelings on the server. The whole farming and gold being like very high for NPCs and stuff is what really causes the issue for the auction economy as well. Because once they see that high gold, they're just like, okay. Maybe I can sell this for such a high amount to where I can get multiple of these from this NPC. Because you're going to need multiple, multiple, uh, you know, fortitudes and stuff like that. So people are going to overcharge just to get the actual like resources. Obviously, that's just one of the reasons. Not the main reason. That's just one of them. So. But even with those feelings, I had a fucking blast with this server. It's always to have one of those private servers that give you that nostalgia. And honestly, as long as the players are enjoying themselves, that's all that matters, really. So, hey, if Violet fits your taste, especially towards trying to keep the old school classic Graffitasia alive and like, well, then go with that. I will say this, their clay table is 100% guaranteed up into round five. Round five is where you have a chance of failing. I want that to be known. That That's something I almost forgot to say. But from one to four, you have a guarantee of a of one item, which is great. But if you want something at, at round five, you're, you're kind of risking it. <laughs> so good luck with that. All right. That's all I had to say. On to the next server. All right. So the next private server is Reputation Dark. And this is the server that I can't get the rates or information on. So I'm going to just spitball it and say it's probably times five. Like 
the rest of the other servers for gold raids, items, and XP. But the uh, thing I can say is that they do have NPCs that give you all 50k fame. So you guys can just go through those quests and get all your fame increased. Um, that's pretty much it for server settings since I don't really have the correct information on that. I'm pretty sure somebody will correct me if it is not that. So, anywho, let's get into the next one. Now, the next one is grinding and leveling. Grinding and leveling has actually been extremely fun inside of Dark. Mostly because they give you access to a lot of things. Like, for one, just come in here and grab all of your crystals, your stat crystals, and start slowly putting them in. Which is great. You don't have to worry about the stat crystals. Not only that, when you first start out, they give you 10,000 stats. All, well, they give you 10,000 everything, all but magic defense, because magic defense you don't really use into like late game. It's mostly about uh, physical defense through like the whole early to mid game. But I will say. Having those 10,000 stats definitely does increase your uh, farming time. And I will say the first two dungeons, which is Perry Cave and Condemned Mines, have their enemies HP scaled up. So it will take a lot longer to fight those bosses. But then everything goes back to normal afterwards. The stats of the dungeons go back to normal somewhat, but is slightly lowered. And the thing with those 10k is like as soon as you turn in your first quest on a Siwa Island, it only lasts for three hours. So you have three hours of that buff to get as far as you can. So that 10k is going to help carry you for a while. Uh, I actually did a rerun with uh, Novelist and actually was able to get to level 74 with it before I had to actually hop off. So. It was still going by the time I had like level 74. So it was like very rapid like leveling going on. I say they give you several items that help you buff. So it's actually great. And I guess the next thing we're going to go to is the free to play. This game is massively free to play. This is this is S, S tier free to play because it's the same thing as old uh, craft used to be old Grafitasia craft to where they give you like maxed out uh, bonus points to where you can just come in here and buy any item that you need any item that will help you like grow max so you have all of this available especially you can max out your red gear as well you have a whole bunch of stacks of XP that you can actually put on as well Oh, speaking of which, I don't even have these on anymore. But yeah, I say that that's actually fantastic. And it doesn't throw everything on cooldown when you use those, which is another great thing. As you see, just all free to play. Just come in here and grab your beginner crystals in here. Then you have your uh your slot. Items as well, chisels. Then they give you level 85 sprites that are in here. Once you hit level 85. And they also give these crystals that are a lot better. And I mean a lot better than the official servers. And I think most of the other servers. I don't I don't remember seeing too many servers with the whole booster crystals. But uh, I have a few here that I can just show off. Where's my hammer sprite? There it is. So I can just right click and put it on there. Oh, I got to be out of wolf form. And watch how many points it gives. It gives 500. And that's constant. It doesn't just wait like 10 
It doesn't just wait like up to 30 to a minute to give you points. It actually just keeps constantly giving you it after every last five, se five to three seconds. Three to five seconds. So thankfully you can max out your sprite and stuff like very quickly, which is great. And it also gives you reputation. Well, not reputation, uh, XP, XP up here. But I will say this, I was kind of hoping they would have made these for these for the crafting ones, for the gathering uh, stuff, because using these do not give you XP. Like I can show that right now. Just have to move and get out of it. As you can see, it's zero. I use one of these. Doesn't increase anything. Now, if they could change that, that would actually be great. But uh, currently, they're going through like a lot of buggy issues. So that's also another thing that's going on, unfortunately. Uh, we'll talk more about that later on. But the free play, I expect, is like very, very good. And you would think, you know, it's like, wouldn't that make the game too easy? I mean, we are, we're max level. We got everything. It's just like, no, because the next few things I'm about to go to, I already said the welling is E level. You don't have to, but it does. It does give you a little bit of bonus items like you have this, which I'm pretty sure is an archive item that gives you like points as well then you also have another archive item right here and you have a title then you also have vip inside of here as well if you guys don't want to sit there and go through everything stuff like that you can buy come in here and buy talents it's not there's it, not a whole lot in here that's this that's a interesting part then you have supreme skill stones then you have uh more titles in here that you can't get through like normal in-game content. Then you have uh, a whole bunch of nucleus that you can grab as well. You have some stones in here. And then you have some interesting mounts such as the orgasm face. <laughs> I found this one funny. That, that one was actually hilarious. And then you have a Hello Kitty car as well. I'm pretty sure this doesn't have animation on it. I think that's what makes this one good. Seen a lot of people with it. But to get into more details, man, there's a lot of stuff because you can actually get all your gear up from level 70. No, oh, no, level 80, actually. We'll talk more about that again in a few seconds. From level 80. They also have everything you need for sprites as well. So if you wanted to increase your sprite all the way up to level 90, just for a few seconds, just to be able to craft something, you can. Here's this. I can throw this on my main sprite and you guys will be able to see. Now it goes up to whatever max my sprite is. So as you can see, it's gone up to 50. So if I was to buy this weapon one and use that as an example for this, it goes all the way up to 100 for these that were selected on that. Which is great. And then they have this item, which makes everything faster. It makes collecting faster. It makes gathering faster. Well, it makes production time faster. Well, this is production time. Okay, yeah, never mind. This is production time. This one is gathering time, and this one is shortened production time. 
pretty sure this one's uh crafting. This one I'm pretty sure is training. And this one is gathering. Pretty sure that's how that goes. They even give you full uh full donuts and lollipops. They also give you the training crackers, the protein crackers, and it, you can change any of your any of your sprite skills with these books as well if you need it. They give you other furnaces as well if you need them. And they give you emblem removers. And some pills. I say if you want to play the normal way, you can. It's an option. If you don't want to touch this shop or anything. They also give you your reincarnated reincarnated uh shards as well. None of them have been modified or changed. They're just the normal ones. I'm pretty sure they probably have some new ones in there. But yeah, you can come in here and get uh Toro gear. Tyro. You come in here and get your boost as well. And a whole bunch of bunch of foods that will make your life a lot easier. They currently have uh Well they had a table to where there was just a whole bunch of snacks yesterday, so I got pretty much all of those. And just started adding on to the collection. Cause in here it it only gives you like quite a few of them. You can go ahead and get your guaranteed crafts as well and some high level potions. You can also get your ultimates inside of here as well. You can get your Sprite King bot chests in here as well. And this is one of the bugs that are currently going on to where some names on some gear don't show up. We'll talk about that later. But um, yeah, you can come in here and get your accessories as well and some more rune stones. Like I said, the crystals, you can get your skill stones. And some mounts as well, if you guys want to make your uh, five star mount. And here's your reputation stuff. If you want to do it the normal way of a reputation, here's your totem tomes as well and your sub sublimes. So yeah, really, really free to play gives you a huge option to that that took out most of our section but um anywho <laughs> the next thing is we are on original everything is original original skills skills are original but they also have new classes as well as i said the novice and stuff there's a straight up novice class that you guys I don't think can actually see on here. So yeah, that's that's the thing. They have their own skills. I can actually log out and go to that. And I can show you guys a few of the skills that the novice has. Uh, they also have another class called the scout. But that is through the, I think, assassin route. I guess there's, there's another thing I should clear up. You automatically become your max class because they're making other classes that are separate. So this is... These are the abilities of the novice. Like, the novice is heavily HP based. Now, like you use your HP instead of mana in order to cast your skills and everything. They even have like party abilities to where I can just refresh all allies. I'll give a whole ally all of his skills back, which is actually pretty neat. Then I have my own invisibility as well, which is a full invisibility, which is funny. I never see people like use this class. This class is actually something else it is just damn strong uh then you have physical resist by 10 percent this is another issue that they have going on you can't really see your reduction damage reduction 
And you can also put on any gear you actually feel like, which is something else that is extremely interesting. But the only issue with this is that this class is magic based, so only magic gear would actually benefit you the most. But at the same time, you got to think about it as this because you can have other trinkets as well. And if you did want to build like, you know, something totally different, you can. But it's set up as magic. And not only that, you get healed for 20 points per second. And you get like this big, well, I would say big boost, but you get like a really decent boost inside of your magic attack. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, every time you crit, you bring down the cooldown of a lot of your skills. And you are able to dual wield as well. And then there's this skill. When the player invokes this, it allows them to lifesteal. And I want this to be known that this stays up. This just stays up. It's it's like a ability for you. Like no matter what you do, you you are uh <laughs> how do I say it? I wouldn't say you're immortal because there is certain points to where this actually like falls off quite a bit. I think that's skill uh yeah, okay, I have to replace this skill. Because I can just do this. But it also backsteps you. And when you're fighting a boss, that's a whole different story. I also have an ability that makes me zoom towards an enemy constantly. But it also costs HP. Even though it doesn't say it costs HP, it does cost HP. Now I am fighting weaker enemies, so obviously I am a... Uh, I am gaining back more HP than I can actually like show. But yeah, Dark is creating classes. Other class I can actually show, since it is on the list, is Scout. Scout is right here. They have a whole bunch of new abilities as well. Like this one has Toxic to where it does lower HP. Like, it's interesting that they're creating whole new classes because this is something completely different. And I love to see it. So it makes me actually want to try and get to this class. Uh, so you would have to go Hunter, and I'm pretty sure there's a way to set this up. Because, as you guys saw, I was a Druid, and I was level 82. You automatically go to your max class. So I'm pretty sure they're replacing all of these, because you can't see anything else in these. So currently Druid and Archangel are the priest. And as you can see. All of those are grayed out with no abilities. So these are probably going to change to something else. So I'm looking forward to see what they do for Shaman. I would say if they make something like really cool. This is definitely going to be one of my favorite servers. It, well, it already is one of my favorite servers, just because of the new classes that they're actually creating. This, if you guys are going to ask me what is my favorite server, as I've been asked, this, this is my favorite server, dude. It's, it's cool. It's cool as shit. They haven't made any, um, any masteries for this class, because it is novice. Novice. I mean... 
novice is already broken i mean you can wear any gear in the game and use any weapon in the game it can i mean it doesn't have talents yet because like i said can use anything in the fucking game so i wouldn't expect them to have it on her yet now shinobi probably does have have actual uh talents and other sh stuff i wouldn't be surprised on that if it doesn't somebody will let me know but yeah as of what i know right now okay so the next thing we're gonna go into is talent these are three work talents for a uh, druid because rework talents are 10 times better than def than the original so yeah you can't see these because these are also stuck in the whole buggy mess thing it's a little bit of a mixture is what it really is it's a mix between like the original and hold on but yeah, it's a mixture between the original and uh the rework that's really what it is okay so let's go ahead and talk about new gear so you guys did see that there was gear up here. Where is it crafting? Oh no, it should be in here. Out of weapons, yeah. You guys did see that there's totally new gear inside of here. This is exclusively for the scout class. Uh, novice actually can't use these gears, it's funny enough. I was actually sitting here like, oh, it's like the only gear novice can't use is the scout gear. I say, not scout actually has some pretty interesting gear, especially like set wise. If they'll actually show it, yeah, they have some very very interesting gear. <laughs> like the stats just for level thirty is is actually insane. I do like that. Uh, there is more that you can actually like look at inside of here. Uh, these aren't labeled yet, but uh, you can actually get your reincarnated two gear inside of here, which was very interesting when I saw it because I looked at it and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Reincarnation two gear actually has like set stats. And I was sitting here like, Dear God, that's that's interesting for reincarnation too. Now I don't know the process of their reincarnation too, of like how you would actually reincarnate for just yet. But who knows? At the moment. <laughs> then they have a uh, level 100 gear is out of here that you can actually get as well. So they made level 100 red gear. Which was also like pretty surprising to me too. There here's your also another level 100 gear that you can just straight up get without reincarnation. Then here is the scout like uh, gear that you can get in here. So you really don't have to craft all your scout gear. You can just come in here, go through uh, whatever sets you find interesting. The funny thing about this gear, hold on, I just wanted to make sure if they weren't the same. They seem like the same. I don't think there's anything to. Oh no, never mind. Um. Oh no, they're the same. Interesting. I guess design-wise, whichever one you like looking at, but these don't give gear. They don't actually like have a look or design to them. As a, you're just completely naked. <laughs> I think they were supposed to, but yeah, you're you're completely naked unless it's just. If you're a different class, it doesn't show up, maybe. Maybe that could also be a bug. 
So there's quite a lot of level 30 gear for them. So I guess this is like a testing thing. Either that or it's bugged out. But you do have... You have their weapons. That's I, I seen them. Okay, there we go. This actually changes. So this is Lily Great Swords, even though they, even though they look like a uh, <laughs> dual blades, they're uh, one-handed. Okay, so this is mostly a one-handed class. There's the bow. So now we can actually see the bow itself, the design. But yeah. <laughs> I say I was sitting like, dude, that's that's actually cool that they're making like actual gear for the their class. But you have the level okay yeah, here it is. Here goes the different levels. Like level 90, 70, 80s, purple gear for them as well. You have their red gear as well, too. Then you have some um, ancient stones in here you can actually grab as well. And you have the absolute stones you can come in here and get, and you have hero stones. So yeah, reincarnation is too. Just so that to be known. Right here is the NPC to where you can actually max out your equipment. Um, as of right now, currently, I think it only goes up to 18 is what people are saying, but Mask gear is plus 20. At the moment, you can only go up to 18 because they're testing things right now. Trying to figure out a lot of the causes of bugs at the moment. And this is also where you have like turn in events. It's where you can gain like cookies and stuff and like cookie coins. I think that's what they call it, right? Yeah, cookie coins, and this is where you like exchange them. These are all different sets of fames. So as soon as you do this, you know, turn it in, you would get maxed out fames for those. So if anybody wanted to try the Drifter class and not have to deal with being fame locked, there you go. That's how you do it. Now, another interesting thing, I just want this to be known as well before I go. You can get also reincarnation gear from here as well by turning in those uh, Stardust points or by doing um, mission orders because mission orders gives these tickets that you can actually turn in and exchange them for uh, these pieces of gear. Well, certain pieces of gear, not all of them, but most of them. And I think in game give you probably gives you Stardust somewhere. Burning Caslow is right here as well where you could just go in at any level. You don't have to like complete as annoying as um, chain quests. I was about to say like how many is it? It's way too many chain quests to be able to get burning burning. For some reason they made like a chain quest from level 66 all the way up to level 80. So you had like to go through all the chain quests just to open that dungeon. I totally forgot about these and I just showed them. These are the only two dungeon mounts that you can have. And those are through paying. And you can enter dungeons without a key. Fantastic. There you go. You can just instantly go in here, fight greed. Where the hell is greed? Oh, there he is all the way in the back. But yeah, next is you can create your throne and mount. Easy to five star as well. Very easy to five star because you can also, unlike a lot of private servers, they don't really give you magic clay, clay pieces, which has been odd to me. Oh yeah, you can also get your uh, special uh, specialization points in here. 
you can give grab 500 and you can just max out that table so you don't have to like spend any more on it which is also great as well oh there it is you also get 20k magic pieces and just straight up create your mount they also give you access to a full stack of clay as well uh the max stack is um 250 it hasn't been increased so that is also still the same unfortunately it's the same for materials so that's gonna also be filling up a lot of your stuff uh they do have we got to talk about these logins they do have a login but these logins are way more special than the other servers for sure because every time you open one you have a chance of random stat equipment So that one just gave strength. And I think this one gave a stat that is currently not showing up on uh, equipment at the moment. I'm going to put that on because I had this one. There you go. I'm probably going to change that one because I actually like the hammer. Just look how good that hammer is. Anywho, <laughs> uh, the next thing is the economy. The economy is pretty empty because you have everything available to you. But it's also low gold too once it goes in. Uh, most people just use the set price that it currently defaults to. So if I was just to throw this in there, for example, we would just instantly push it. I'd say we wouldn't even waste the time of actually like putting in an increased gold. We would just push it in. There you go. It only goes up to a max of two. So it is default auction house nothing new has changed on it so yeah just still the same uh the website itself is currently unavailable it is just i think where you create your account and um it is bare minimum anyway currently can't show it in this video it does not have a spender event as well or anything like that it has the whole uh donation thing though which I will show here. I say that's the least I can do is actually like show it in here. I say that'll help out a lot more than just showing the empty page. Here you go. So their donations is actually pretty straightforward. You can actually turn in one dollar for VFS tickets. One dollar each is a cookie coin. You can throw in three dollars to change your name and guild name or your guild name. Uh, three dollars for top for a title of your choice. Three for increasing your level, increasing the level of your guild and giving you a buff. X number of months. And your choice of a costume with the enhancements that you want with the, with the enchantments that you want only available if they are in the archives so you have to pick something that is in the archive a uh, kit of all your talents so this is basically they're gonna send you this so you can get these uh this should be if I remember correctly, all level 90s. All level 91s or 86. I don't think it's going to be every last one of them. Because I don't think you can put it on every last one of them. Especially currently since I'm pretty sure they are level locked. I would actually have to test that though. Uh... I don't think I have enough uh, stuff for that, actually. Not yet, at least. I'll have to do that later and see uh, what's going on with that. So next is that you can get combat mounts, uh, the two existing ones, for $5. $5 for 10 slots as well. Uh, you can get a level up reincarnation one and you can get level up reincarnation two for 
10 for here and 20 for here. Uh, you can get a leveled gear or armor to level 100. So I'm pretty sure that is the weapon training is what they're talking about. This weapon growth. So they'll probably get that up to level 100 is what they're saying. Next is you can get a Ancient King Ruin for election for those who can get rare weapon equipment with the chance that you want oh i think this yeah with enchantments with whatever you want like uh 3 point 3.5 hp to strength i think that's what they mean about this uh kit for all your skills skill stones they're also talking about um, these, the Supreme Skill Stones. Then Red Weapon and Pant, blah, blah, blah. Then you can get the Archive for 36. That is normally how their server works. It works just like uh, Chronicles when I talked about them on that stream. Uh, the next thing is the population is pretty medium. I say it's not extremely giant. Most of it, mostly because apparently people are now just hearing about this server. Well, most people are now just hearing about the server. And people are just now hearing about Chronicles too, which is interesting. The same old thing. Everybody sits right over here in PvPs or just chills and talks to each other. Some people are constantly going through uh, burning right now. Uh, the next thing is the languages it supports. It supports English, Spanish, Thailand, Polish, and French. So it actually supports five different languages. Uh, all languages are pretty much even. Is out of the Discord from what I actually see. But Spanish is doubled all of them. So Spanish is the highest language out of the server. But at the same time, most of the servers are all. Yeah, but most of the languages are all in the 100s. So this is pretty much an evened out community so far. All right. So I guess the next one is how active the staff is. That staff, from what I've seen. Hmm. This is the first server to where I've seen that the staff really isn't all that active. Like towards of like, you know, communicating with community like a lot. I say I've I've looked around just to see, you know, how many events they do. They really don't do any events. From what I see, yeah, there hasn't been any real events. They do have guides on their Discord, which I do love when div when uh, private servers do that. I was say, uh, I also wanted to be known that these could probably be bugged to where they're not supposed to be these as well. So I just keep that in mind that talents could be bugged just a little bit. But yeah, from what I've seen, the staff really isn't all that active i mean they talk inside of discord now and then but i have not i have yet to see any of them really hang out with the community at the moment don't see a single sg or anything i say most of them are sitting in uh sitting in here yeah i've really been seeing like too many of them hanging out with the community seen some of them in discord i mean that's about it which is unfortunate, man. We would like to get to know some of the game stages and stuff like that. Uh, they do have this over here to where you can actually like test out your abilities. Um, I don't think they have... Is this the cleanse? No, that I think that's just the bard. They don't have combat cleanse. Oh, okay. It's, it's out of range to where it gets you out of battle. Okay, that's nice. Um, okay, I guess my feels about the server, and I guess we'll talk about the bugs that is going on. Um, 
well, let me hold up. Let me say this. What I have written down for the, the activity of the staff is the staff is pretty low active on the server, but it's not zero. They don't seem to be interacting much or do events currently. Currently. I mean, it's a good reason why they can't at the moment. And we'll go through that with my whole personal gameplay experience and unique. This server actually gives such a great free to play experience with players just having a blast farming, leveling, PvPing. I've been seeing a lot of PvP this week <laughs> with them. Uh, I haven't really seen it going on right now. I say I've just been seeing uh, what what was that class called? Uh, Atillerus. Atillerus just spamming abilities and stuff. They were just. <laughs> They were just spanning a non-stop stream of cannons, which was like very interesting. So my personal feel of the server is overall, I had fun with the server and it has been, it has been a buggy mess as in you guys saw the names missing. That's my only thing I don't like right now. That's my only pet peeve, is that some of the names are missing to where I can't tell what I have on. Because I will, I will look over here and it's just like, okay, I have a slot right here on that third slot to where I don't know what that skill is. Well, what that uh, runestone is. So I don't want to replace any of my gear at the moment until that's fixed to where I can actually like see the name of them and actually know what I want to change out. So that's what I'm currently waiting on is mostly the translations and stuff to be fixed because you guys can see right here. This is a translation issue. Well, not even a translation issue. It's a text issue. I think there's a big text issue going on right now. But yeah. Um, this It wasn't this bad, honestly. If you guys were to watch my uh, part one video, that's see artillerist right there. As <laughs> exactly as I was saying. Not only that, they're using the pars. <laughs> like this is actually hilarious to watch. That's why I sit in here some sit over here sometimes and actually watch it. Just fight it. watching two cars fight each other is just fucking hilarious. <laughs> but uh <laughs> But um if you guys watch my part one of the dark server, it wasn't as bad. Uh, because they were inside of version 2. Now the server has updated to version 3 and now it currently has a few bugs. Well, a lot of bugs that they're trying to iron out right now. They just fixed a few of them so they're probably going to be busy for like the next month or two trying to get everything situated. And I have the mo utmost confidence that they'll be able to fix it. I mean, it's just going to take a while because development isn't easy. It's really not. Especially when you're coding on something that's like very very old like this is a very old engine and it's gonna take some take them some time to get used to it and uh, change a lot of things but i like this server because it's actually doing something unique it's adding new classes and they're actually changing the skills and making it unique or they're actually like you know taking from like another class changing it to be a different class because the the initial sword attack, the AOE like sword attack around you, is from Traveler. They changed that by making like the streaks of it green, by also giving it an effect. There is also another ability that Novice has to where they that little charge ice attack that actually gives a. Um, what was it? Mech Master? Funny enough, that actually gives a Mech Master stack. It's one of these like dash towards an enemy. They just redid that skill to where it actually freezes now. I say I like little things like that. I mean, if you're not going to. There's no point of like going full on out for it. Which is fine, but it's still cool to see that they're experimenting and making new classes. So, with that said, hey, keep doing, keep doing, you guys, and actually keep up the great work.
the dark server actually is very interesting and fun and i can't wait to see whatever yeah what other classes you come up with i've been tripping over my words this whole video at least this segment <laughs> jesus <laughs> but with that said it's time to move on to the last server which is chronicle all right so i i saved a very long one for last because this server actually has quite a lot um well actually i probably cut down a lot of time because i went over dark first because these servers are decently similar in a way and we're just gonna have to uh just gonna have to go through and see what happens at this point but uh yeah the private server grand Potasia chronicles its server settings is actually time 16 for xp rate and on the weekends it is times 60 xp and they do have a fame npc that you can actually go to and grab fame from and that's pretty much it uh i don't really see anything about gold rate or drop rate uh right now you can gain a lot of gold from mission orders and i'm going to show you guys a lot of interesting things but the first things first is we're going to leveling and grinding. All right. So about leveling and grinding. So leveling has actually been very fun. Just as fun as dark has been. Because you actually get bonus stats every time you level. And what I mean you get bonus stats every time you level is like every level gives you 20, 20 points into all stats. So as you can see, my stats go all the way up here. Oh, there's another thing I forgot to say about Dark. Dark has, there's two differences between Dark and this, is Dark has the most, the more older damage calculations to where this would stop at 60,000 for a Dark server. But this server actually has the more updated one to where it actually goes above 6k thousand and does more damage so that's something to also note on that so i've actually leveled a lot faster and was able to get a lot better gear oh shit there's another thing i forgot to talk about is that both of their tables are extremely good they're actually extremely similar to each other so as i'm saying this first off their tables are mostly Discord suggestions. So if they suggested on Discord, you would actually get these, which was actually like pretty cool. And I was sitting here like, dude, okay. So they're just putting in a whole bunch of suggestions for like crafting materials and stuff like that. So we don't have to go and grind all of it. And they also have a table over here, but this one is where everything is different uh as for dark they change out all of it for suggestions and as for chronicles they change it to where you only need three pieces and each gear that you get out of this server you will actually get a costume with a random stat on it so you can get i don't have clay because you have to actually earn clay and I can actually show you guys how to do that. Hands off me. Cease. So I can actually show this stuff off now. Because this is part of like leveling and grinding. Well, technically, no, it's not. But yeah, leveling and grinding has been fun. You know, I've been uh, actually going through like very quickly. The, I will say this, this time 16 definitely makes in-game a lot easier to grind through and get all of that XP to where it feels like you're still, you know, progressing at a good rate. I don't know if they mess with like quest XP rates. I don't think they have. I think that's still the same. I think it's mostly just killing enemies straight up. So, yeah, there's that. They also need to put the whole quotations for their uh players for gs 
That, that would also be very helpful. Just in case you're in game and you need a help from a GS. But, um... Yeah, to make sure they didn't actually, like, do that already. But, uh, yeah. You have this. Now we're going into free-to-play. Uh, free-to-play. Extremely free-to-play. It is, it is actually S-tier along with Dark. Because you can still go through the earning part of it. And as long as you're exchanging in gold, which there are two ways to get gold, and I can actually like show that. There are repeat quests. Uh, this there's an issue right here, just in case they see it. But yeah, there are mutated mission orders, and the mutated mission orders mission orders give like a whole bunch of gold along with um, crystal guardian points and some crystals. This is how you gain and earn those. Is through the mission orders. And there's a second way. To earn a crap ton of gold. And that is through. Uh, Ace Hunter. And you can earn up to 10,000. Per day. Now the way to earn this is that you complete. You complete. Five dungeon orders. And once you get those uh, five stacks. You come over here. And click receive proof. Then they'll give you proof. Well, a rare... No, Hunter's proof. Then you can turn this in. Then you're done. So yeah. That is how that goes. You could just straight up get your gold from that point. Now, as for... The rest of the PV... Well, free-to-play stuff. Um, Let's see. Where is it? Here it is. Jelly coins. You can earn jelly coins by exchanging gold and getting jelly coins. Then you can come in here and you can use them on clay. Or you can use them on bad pack space. Or you can use them for, well, sprite bad pack space. So there's some holy enchantments. They don't have any um, red rerolling gear. Well, red, uh, what is it called? Reenchantment? They don't have any reenchantment for red gear. Yeah, it's only for purple, and that's it. They haven't put in any of the reds. Uh, you can get bank keys, XPs, you can get uh, combat mounts as well. Just four normal combat mounts just by holding. Just by saving them. You can get enchantment. You can get chisels. You can also get level 3. Ringstone. Nucleus. And souvenir enchantments. You can also get a mallet. And a guaranteed craft. And your red gear enchantment scrolls. Along with guarantees. Then you get your blessed clovers. Your wedding stuff. And then your character changing stuff, gender or recreation. You can also get sprite stuff as well. Then another battle mount. You can also get capsules, speed up capsules. And they're actually like extremely cheap. All the cost is like one. And that's it. Which is great and fantastic. Then you can come in here and get uh, your mounts. And thrones. So the way to get clay bars. Uh, <laughs> stop. The way to get clay is through this. It's just doing your uh, your daily stuff and getting stars. You can come in here and buy them if you need them. But you can also uh, get clay from this. I guess I can do an example because this is this is weird. There's an easy way to do this. I would recommend getting five. The other reason I'm showing a little bit of a weirdness here is because look at this. So now I can separate five. And now those are. Now they're all fives because they all start out as one. 
So this is a pretty cool thing that you can do. Uh, if I remember correctly, you would want to put the lowers into the hires. So if you have a one star, so if you make a one star, you have zero stars. You want to put the zero stars into the one stars. Then they become the next star. Either that or it's the other way around. I'm pretty sure it's putting the no stars into the ones that have the stars. Don't put the stars on top of the one star because then I'll fuse in with that stack and you'll be reset to zero from that one star. Or you can get a friend to buy who already has a five star or anybody in the game. Even I, even I can give it to you as well. I have no problem if you see me on this server if I just pop in. They could just come in here, buy a one of them, and trade it to you. They're all tradable, so you can actually give them to you. To where you have a five star, then you can grab clay and you can re-roll them. So yes, they do have uh, thrones and thrones and mounts, uh, combining for stars. I really did jump ahead, but that is part of free to play. Uh, welling, welling is a thing. In this server, you can just buy ahead and skip a lot of hard work, and that is for the PvP weapons and equipment. And there are also rune stones that you straight up buy as well. As you can see, there's there's some pretty interesting ones. Like this one's the one that caught me off guard: is that you can have more HP, damage, mana, and stuff. It, to your pets and i was sitting here like okay that's actually very cool that that actually exists then there are here's the relics and stuff the relics have like really good abilities and really good stats on them as well like very good stats on them i think the most insane one was the cape honestly yeah this cape right here because it deals 10 percent true damage I was sitting here like, damn, dude, that is that is actually devastating. And you can also get the skulls and buy this. These are actually PvP currency, but they're also can be farmed from. But they also can actually be farmed from a different way, which is Infernal Dungeons. Infernal Dungeon repeat quests, you can get up to around 200 and not 200, 26K per day if you do every last infernal dungeon so very easy to get but you can also buy through it and grab these but gotta remember that all this stuff right here is level 100 stuff so you have to be level 100 to get it but the rune stones can go to anything the red ones can go to any gear the blue ones can go to well the red ones can go to any weapon these can go to any armor. Uh, I don't know if they're extraction. I don't know if they modify the extraction tool to where it will give you back said rune stone. I doubt it. I don't, I don't think I've seen anybody being able to do that. I could test it. I regret it, but I can test it. Wait, do, the, do we not have one? As you see, all the gear up into level 70. Unlike Dark, uh, that goes up to level 80. This one stops at level 70. And it doesn't really have like too many options in here for, for these. Most of your options are going to be inside of here. I haven't seen a single extraction tool now that I think about it. So I don't think you'll be able to extract. But you can also buy all of your level 100 uh, talents inside of here. It'll give you your talents, your tomes, and your sublime. So it will give you everything you actually need. But you can only equip them at level... 90 level 91 is as soon as you touch through it 
you can only put these talents on. As for the tomes, you can put those on a level like 60, 6 to like 69. And the sublimes are like around level 80. Then for these are just uh, a whole bunch of stones. They made a whole bunch of custom ones as well. Some new ones that do different things. So you can actually farm these like very, high, very highly just by going in and uh, trading gold. Or you can do this. I'm pretty sure this is uh, the slime floors. If I'm correct. Yeah, the floors. You can get those runestones just by doing that. All right. So let's get out of the welling part. Uh, the skills. As of right now, everything is original. That's going to be a common thing with the servers because everybody enjoyed the original skills. As a druid, there's some things in the rework that I actually enjoyed more. Some things. Not everything in the reworks I enjoyed, but most things in the rework I did enjoy. But I'm used to this. This one, the, the original skills. As for... Oh yeah, they just recently released these, <laughs> which was actually very interesting. They released stickers that you can just do that with. And you can only get those through the table. So there's four of them. I was only able to get two. Because I was uh, busy that day, so I, I wasn't able to like really go into that. And they're actually doing something like extremely interesting on that. It's like, I hope other servers are just like, ooh, that looks interesting and tries that too, but come up with their own. But um, as for talents, these are all uh, the original ones as well. There's nothing uh, new or changed about them from what I know of. Uh, so... Oh, except for this. This one's changed. This used to be uh, Fire Strength. Some of them got... No, okay. I remember. Some of them did get retouched on. Some of them did get retouched on. Some of them did get changed. Not all of them did, but some of them did. But uh, Mastery. Mastery definitely got touched and nerfed and uh, buffed in certain places. Like, for one, our life still got nerfed. Makes sense. Wolfform was eating <laughs> people alive and constantly healing. But our table, but this mastery table is actually pretty good. But it does suffer from the whole things being separated thing again. To where my max HP and mana are separated. My defense is not on the same thing as well. These are separated. To where it does make you miss out on a lot of more interesting things that it could be. And that is that is it for those. Uh, there are new gears, as you guys saw. The, the hammer as well. And there are new gears inside of this content. Which I I've stre which I've explained I dislike this because you have to kill this boss. The bot the final boss of burning Burning Caslow so many times just to be able to enter this dungeon. And not everybody's gonna be doing that dungeon. That's the issue. Not a not a lot of people are gonna be just, you know, constantly going through this to where, you know, it's Okay, I guess I'll explain it a little bit easier. So, with this, there comes this gear. And it's like very, very good gear. Here it is. Now, this gear is actually like really, really good, but you have to be reincarnation one to be able to use it. So, this gear gives max HP 30. 20% 20% triple strike and 20% true damage along with your damage being increased by 1000 
15% penetration when your player when your character is below 50% gain the effect to increase your damage by 30 and your physical and magic attack by 30 when it's lower than 45% it activates an effect that it reduces the damage you take by 40 40 percent and if it's below oh no it doesn't go below that but if it actually reduces crit damage by 40 percent and when you equip a shield it gives you even more damage reduction after blocking and increase both defense this is actually extremely good gear if you can get it but the issue is that it is it heavily depends on doing this content which uh the issue with this is that you don't know when people are going to decide to go in and try to get this open or if you dedicate yourself to opening it and you go in and you know there's already a strong player going in there who knows how to clear it like fast they just go in solo everything then it's just like ah oh, well shit or if you get in get online you jump on and you see it's open you try to join and it's already done this is this is why i never really liked the whole soothing Kaz Kazlo thing. Soothing Kazlo because it's it has an issue to where it doesn't have a wait time on players. Because as soon as I saw it open, I joined in. People were already halfway through it and I was like, well, damn, there's no real point of me joining, especially since it's based on how much you contribute inside of there. And I believe healing also does not count towards contributing to that. So even if you were just depending on healing, it's all depending on how much damage you do. So that's also a thing that you have to remember as well. And if you're told to stay back, it's like, damn, I'm a berserker. So all I can do is like this tiny bit of range and this person is going to get all of the stuff. And it gets it gets to those points to where, you know, it kind of conflicts, conflicts with so much. And not only that, it's very, very time consuming to even try and open this. That that was one of my main pet peeves on this. Not only that, you also need material from this for re for reincarnation two. That's also another issue. Reincarnation two is locked behind this. So you also have to do this if you want to reincarnate two. Or you can pay sixty dollars for the um, for the package that gives you like a whole bunch of stuff. We'll we'll go over that in a few seconds. Just wanted to talk about that because reincarnation two is a thing, so that's why I kind of wanted to sneak that in along with the gear stuff and the pay to win stuff. So next is the gear does go up to plus twenty. This NPC right here can give you all the fame. And something I wish Dark had was that you can bring your sprite up to level four and also unlock combat. Hopefully Dark does do this down the road because there there is an issue to where if you do get to this quest before you upgrade your sprite. That you can get bugged and not be able to get battle mode from the awakening quest. Not only that, they have this, which I don't understand why this is open. Honestly, because everything is still level locked. So I wasn't too sure about the whole talent slot thing. Maybe there was a bug to where talents would. Oh, yeah, I think there was a bug to where talent slots didn't open. So this was a way to fix it. So, yeah, there's that as well. All right. Next is all right. Next one is can you enter a. A boss room without a key. So this server is pretty iffy with that. There are some dungeons to where you do need the key and there are some dungeons to where you don't need the key, which has been pretty odd. Like uh, Burning Caslow, you do not need a key, but I'm pretty sure in this dungeon you do need a key, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you actually do need the key for this. So let me go ahead and take out these guys just so I can teleport out.
And let's go ahead, head back. I could just use that too, because you can use that in combat. Go in here. You can run all the way up there. Oh yeah, there's also another thing I can actually show uh, as we're running there. Uh, the reason this is my like third favorite uh, server, this is in my top three servers, is because they actually made a mount that is dedicated to druids. Now, it's not exclusively for druids. You can actually still use this, but it's mostly for druids to where you can use this and you get the movement speed of a mount. And not only that, they do have some mounts that have 100% damage and 100% damage reduction as well. Some of them, some of those are special. You can actually get those for server boosting as well. If you're a server booster, you can get a free damage reduction and damage added mount of your choice. See, I can enter in without having to go get a key. And I can just come in here and kill him. There's other dungeons that are the same to where you don't need a key or need a key as well. That's like I said. So that's also a thing you got to kind of keep an eye out for. But this is my favorite thing right here. As a druid, having this item right here that gives me the speed up a mount as a druid and I can still do combat in it makes me happy. And I love that. They don't have the status details or anything. There's a lot of things that they don't have that the updated server does. So we talked about thrones. Uh, nucleus changes. There is no nucleus changes. The nucleus are still the same inside of the server. They give strength. Same stuff. As always. Um, the economy is empty. And it's only two days for expire rate. And the fee is the same normal fee as usual. To where it doubles. And even if you were to put something in here, it wouldn't. You wouldn't want to put it high or anything. Like I said, it will, this economy is like extremely low. What does that look like? Oh, yeah, it reminds me of uh, Okami, that old game. But yeah, they do not have a website. The website does not exist just yet. They have plans on it, but at the moment, they have no single website. The way you register is that I've told people this. You go on to the Discord. You send in a ticket with a username and password. And as I warn everyone to do for any of these private servers, make sure it's something that you do not use on a regular basis. Come up with a brand new username and password that you can remember and give that to them. And not only that, um, the servers, I guess, hmm, they don't have a scale or spinner event. So I guess we can go into the Discord. Um, Donations. They even made a whole donation sheet I can actually bring up. Donation list. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've shown this on Discord, but I can show it again just so everybody can be able to see it. So their donations work, like I said, basically the exact same as um, basically the exact same as Dark, but it does have a conversion rate. So you do have to convert your. But it does have a conversion rate, so you're going to convert your currency over to theirs to know the, like the actual pricing. So as you can see here. They have a monthly pack that you can get as well, along with like a souvenir long with long. Eh. So as you can see here, they have a monthly VIP pack to where it gives you a costume set and you can put on attributes that you want on it. Um, you have 20, they give you 20,000 jelly coins and also 5,000 skulls along with a legendary set of 80 to 100 since you can already go up to 70 
with these it makes it makes sense that there's no point in giving giving anything lower lower than uh makes sense to why they're not giving any, anything lower than 80 makes sense not only that uh same thing for weapons obviously then they give you a speed stone that you can use and consume for 30 days they also give you a VIP display item to where it displays VIP above your head. We've also seen that on the stream. Uh, you can also convert one dollar and one dollar and five cents, fifty cents. I think that's fifty cents. One dollar fifty cents for U.S. This equals up to a dollar and sixty-one for what I actually like looked up. For 1k, and actually did give me a lot of skulls when we did the hundred dollar. What is the hundred dollars episode? And here is the character growth pack to where it will cost you sixty dollars. They do not have a individual to where an individual donation to where you can get a reincarnated two character, unless you, I guess, talk to them about that and see if there is. I don't think there is, but um, you can get level hundred PVP set of the class of your choice not only that even if the class is not even if the character is not made you can still get this whether you are starting or not on the server and not only that you can also get a kit to where you get 10 bags that are 40 stacks and five bags that are 24 stacks for the sprites. They'll give you your packages, your tomes, your other stuff, vacations, everything you need to get your character done. They'll also give you 10,000 specialty points. They'll also give you 10,000 jelly coins as well, along with emblems and skin, emblems and consumables, and three maxed out sprites of your choice. And all of your skill stones. So you'll be basically maxed out, ready to go for in game content. Here's the other like individual services to where you can change your name, add, get a title of your choice, level up your guild, uh, level up your sprite island, get uh, your weapons and equipment, your mount and equipment uh, mastery levels up. If you guys are wondering what that is. It is this and this. So, yeah, that that is also there, too. Now uh, you can get a level 100 character. Uh, like I said, there is no reincarnation service on here for reincarnation one or two. I think that is all tied to the character growth. Uh, legendary weapon, legendary equipment. You guys get the enchantment thing. Like if you just want the one enchantment, two enchantment, three enchantment, those are all there available. Then you can get the rune of your choice. Rune of your choice here. Then you can get the enchantments to it and enchantments to it here. And not only that, then the bags are separate to where you can actually get those. The mega stones are separate. Then there is an archive item that you can get for twenty dollars. And here are the PvP weapons that I said you can, that are basically pay to win that you can just go straight to and not have to collect all the stuff for, which is fifty dollars for each of them. And they all have like really good passives to where I'll just let you guys pause and look at those. When I was trying to do the $100 thing, I wasn't sure what the hell to get, honestly, which was the funny part. I was just sitting here like, damn, what do, what do I even get with this $100? That that part of the game is because a lot of things aren't necessary. I just did it to, you know, support the server. The reason I haven't done it with Dark yet is because they're going through a lot of issues and I don't want any chances of anything going wrong and messing you up. 
because there was already an issue with trying to get bags because I tested the waters and just to see what happened and they had a whole bunch of issues. And here is server boost as well to where you can get a mount with bonus stats of damage reduction and damage dealt increase. So that is pretty much it. The next thing is population. The server is pretty low, but is growing towards medium. It is constantly growing just as much as dark is. Well, I guess dark is a little bit on the low end now until everything gets fixed, but it is low, but it is growing. I say a lot of the members at my guild are well, not exactly my guild is this guild. The guild I'm currently in mostly sit out here. Most of them PvP too. As you can see. A lot of people were farming this just to try and get the gear, but I think a lot of people stop because I think they think it's too tedious. Unless they're needing it for reincarnation. I, th I think that's the only time they actually do it. It's actually funny because I'm pretty sure a lot of people just did the whole package instead of this. As you see, it hasn't even been, it hasn't even went up at all. It hasn't went up. It's still the same. All right, so let's talk about uh, the staff. We're about to wrap this up. This whole video is about to be wrapped up soon, and I'll do honorable mentions and tell you a little bit about those servers. And there's a reason why they're honorable mentions. But anyhow, how active is the staff? The staff is actually very, very active. The developers of the server are most of the time always on like every single day for like hours on end, answering tickets, supports and stuff like that. Doing their best with the server. I believe there are only two developers of this server. And if so, that is actually pretty damn impressive with the amount of stuff that they've done or and are doing. And the plans that they have are very interesting as well. And the suggestions that they kind of like are also interesting as well. And I'm sitting here like, damn, will they actually do this? I doubt it. But I want to see if they do. I will say this. Siler very well done uh, i will say this bro's been active as shit like every single fucking day like it's a full-time job just constantly fixing bugs issues in anybody's problem that fucker I, that the fucker's definitely on here like it's a full-time job and that's actually great to see the passion of that and seeing the passion that they're putting into the server it's fantastic to fucking see good on you now as for my personal experience and uniqueness of this I enjoyed the server so much to where it is definitely in my top three. The ideas they have planned and everything are unique and very different from a lot of the servers. Even though, like I said, it is similar to Dark. They're doing things that are different from Dark, though. Just a few of the like payment things and other things are slightly like Dark. That's pretty much it. And I'm looking forward to Druid stuff. That's something else. <laughs> Um, my personal feels of the server, I feel like this server could be one of the top three tyrants as much as they work on it to where, you know, there's a shit ton of people just playing on the server with the ideas they have planned and stuff. It's just going to take some time and some hard work for them to do, which they're currently doing. And the new different content ideas they have could be something that a lot of players will be into. So I'm looking forward to it personally. And we'll see what happens. So great job overall to both of the developers. All right. Next servers are the audible mentions. This is Grand Fantasia Ignite. And Grand Fantasia Ignite has basically no players left. It is basically empty. So these servers are going to be the empty ones that are probably a lot of play players wouldn't be interested in but i'm still gonna announce them anyway just in case they find them interesting for themselves these are the ones i haven't just fully gone through because of how empty it is so first of all grand potential ignite server settings is move speed plus 70 percent always 
uh times five xp rate times 10 drop and gold times five quest rates times five quest fame no times three fame quest rates times five xp for sprites times two crafting rate for sprites and times two arena it is times 20 gold and drop on the weekends and times eight arena points on the weekends so this server actually in my opinion had like something very interesting that i did love and absolutely love is that they attached a little layout system to loadouts to six different loadouts so if you want to put in the whole loadout on this you can which is like very damn cool and these are things you can actually just equip to this and as long as they're in your bag you could just go between them so if i hold alt q it would change those boots out by itself so you can put in like individual like little costumes you can put in individual like little um equipment then you could just use your shortcuts and always just change them out so i could just take this off q put it right back on that is that is cool i love this shit. this is this is actually fucking impressive and i actually like the ideas i'm just i just wish they would have done more with the server but it seems like it is probably another server that's about to die from what i know i mean they even have the whole search bar everything if you need to find whatever you're looking for and they even have like a scrolling bar as well so it seems like they're about to add in like a whole bunch of backpacks and it makes sense because you would have like a lot of equipment that you would just have stored in here for those different sets i wish that they would have kept going if they have given up it doesn't it seems like they've given up but at the same time they could probably be one of those servers that update probably um monthly instead of like weekly or you know whenever they're done with something i'm not too sure where the server is going but it is very empty that is why it is on one of the honorable mentions which i think it has a shit ton of potential they don't have any npcs running around they don't have anything here but they do have a bonus shop and and some very questionable price things so they haven't changed any of this and i don't think anybody would would touch any of this because these are very 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 high prices i feel like isn't this the original price <laughs> i believe it is seemed like they tried to experiment a little bit with this stuff but uh, they also another server well not only that they had like a weird thing to where they gave you like a full 25 stack of um, beginner cards that you can slowly go through every time and I ended up with a lot of stuff <laughs> like this isn't a bad thing but I wish they could tone down how much you would have to like push this if they're able to like figure out how to change the stuff that is inside of the bag that would be kind of cool i don't think any server has done that actually now that i think about it i don't think any server has figured out how to make more levels to a card but it would have been better if they made their own card and level locked it then started putting in like a ton of cool rewards to where you know it kept players wanting to level and figure out what's inside of it you know that would also be cool too to any servers who are interested in that boom there's an idea for you for starters but yeah, that is pretty much all I'm going to say for the server. This server, I'm pretty sure, is original. Oh no, this is actually a rework. This is a rework server. This is not an original server. This is a rework version. So, yeah. If you guys are interested in the server, try and, I guess, hop on, support them, showing that you want more of the ideas that they have. You know, something. 
I will put all Discord links down in the bottom. I'm not sure how long those Discord links will last, but if you need a new Discord link, let me know and I'll let you guys and I'll put in the new one that will last a little bit longer. If there's any Discords that want a uh, permanent, want to give me a permanent link, that would be great. And I can just put it down there. Uh, the next and last honorable mention that I have currently since um, I will say Thutter Surfers that are dead from what I know. Uh, Phoenix just closed because of lack of staff. So Phoenix is no longer available for you to actually play currently from what I know. I don't know if they plan on bringing it back, but currently it is closed. Uh, Prime GF is not fully dead but it is currently closed for i guess a long time it's going to be closed for a long time from what i know but we shall see all right next and last one okay just a little bit of an update it seems like newcraft has closed down it seems because i cannot log in at all and i haven't seen any news on it so it might be closed might be i've i've tried to log in constantly but it's not coming up so i think the servers are closed i haven't seen like i said i haven't seen any updates so i think that's the end of that journey unfortunately because that was the last honorable mention i had and it's it, yeah so I'm going to be stopping here. Uh, thank you guys all for the support over the few months. And I very much appreciate all the support. It definitely motivated me to keep going through these private servers. But now it has come to an end. And I guess you're wondering, like, what, what now? All right, now I'm going to be slightly retiring from Grand Fantasia. This is the news I had for, for you guys. It is because I now have my own project that I have to fully commit to, which is Must Grow Utopia. For those of you guys who've, you know, actually been around my channel or looked around my channel, I have dead logs of it. I've been on this whole journey and I need to start focusing on that. Now, I will be trying to upload different content as well as I'm doing this, but Grafitasia takes up a lot of my time. So I kind of have to put that on the back burner. Maybe in the future, I will come back and do revisits and see everything that all of you guys have changed or done on the server. Well, on your servers, because I still do enjoy Gravitasia. I am looking forward to Gravitasia Origin that X Legend is working on. Hopefully they actually do it a lot better and learn from the original version. But we'll see. With that said, my journey as a producer and game developer starts now so i have to focus on that a lot more than i want to <laughs> but i will still pop in now and then and check out servers talk to a little few people if there is any staff or anybody who, who i've talked to through this journey who wants to talk to me uh you you know my discord name it's explanation point wolf i mean just message me talk to me i don't care i mean i'm basically chilling i would say i'll i won't probably respond right away if anything i will probably be busy <laughs> and i'll respond to it at a later date or a later time but i had fun during this journey not only that i needed to stop myself from getting burnt out as well because i traveled to how many servers during this whole like months it's like uh, i i've just been non-stop grand fantasia and i probably need a break from it but tomorrow i will have news on monster girl utopia i will have a video of that for those of you guys who are interested in it monster girl utopia is basically a creature collector but with monster girls similar to pokemon in a way but it will have a lot of different things such as grinding equipping gears to them and dungeon exploring so, things like that. As of right now, my journey begins, and I will see you guys in the future.
I appreciate you guys. If you guys continue to support me, I will try and upload new videos probably. Actually, I do have a new series of creature collecting games that I do want to do. And this will probably be the best time to do it because those creature collector games will actually give inspiration for my game. That would actually be the smart thing to do, actually. Take some inspiration from like some creature collectors and uh, think about some little cool ideas, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do the creature collecting uh, series, but I'll also do some probably some indie games and some games I've been looking forward to coming out, stuff like that. But as of right now, I will see you guys in the future. Thank you guys again for all the support and thank you guys. Thank you to all the servers who have been doing a hard and long journey themselves of providing gravitation players some refugee spots for us to actually chill mine. It's actually been fun. And keep up the good work. Until then, peace out.